It is time. For the return of the king. Waluigi evolved into Gyarados. Hello everybody, and welcome back to a new episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Color Lock. You saw it here first, Waluigi is back! Ironically, it's been almost a year since I actually properly last used Waluigi in the wedlock, because I didn't get one in the... I swear, I literally... Hold on. Oh my god. I literally have been training this grass for like, at least like half an hour. I had, and I never encountered this guy as a trainer. So I'm actually low-key a little upset. <laughs> That would have, like, sped up time a little bit. But yeah, before we start off this episode, I was bored off camera, so I wanted to see, you know, this is the guy that go this girl's like, um, my boyfriend is cool, and then he's all like, I'm cool because I have a girlfriend. So I wanted to see if they were going to still say that so I could show it off, and then I found this gem. Oh well, my girlfriend will cheer me up. I wish my boyfriend was as good as you. I say you I can't even man. <laughs> this is why I love talking to people. Like I know I don't always listen I always like I don't read it out loud all the time, but I will always glance what I um what an opposing trainer will say, because they can have stuff like that. There's so many hidden jokes that I found. So yeah. We got Waluigi. Uh we didn't level up Monarch. And that's just because, like, there wasn't really a good need to. I mean, I guess I could do that now. I'll put him in front and swap him out. I just kind of rather level up everyone else, because I just kind of felt like that's just something that's going to take, like, half a second to do. People here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket was on the... Blah, 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 blah. We already read that. So, yeah, you can see the, the chairs are rotated, the... Tables broken, the jars, everything. This just looks like a horrible robbery. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Dang, I'm sorry. Obvious signs of burglary here. Those miserable rockets. Look at what they've done to my house. They stole a TM for. T they stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on my Mankey or Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle. It did. But yeah, I believe it just says there's obvious signs of a burglary on everything that you interact with. But like, you can see there's so much detail put into this. I just find it weird how you can stand on the chairs, but whatever. Obviously, you go through the, the hole, and... Hey! Stay out! It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. You don't believe me? Did it? Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. He's got him a chop! As long as I don't have Pursuit, I'm perfectly fine. But yeah, I leveled everyone up a little bit. I don't think anyone learned any new moves except for Waluigi. And that was Bite. Alright, and let's use Gust. Wow, that didn't kill. I was expecting it to. I'm just trying to get it to level up. I also need to level up Waluigi a little bit, because you can tell Waluigi's kind of low on, compared to the other ones. And he's the only one I have with the dark move, and apparently Bite flinches. But there we go. Got Monarch. So, yeah, we're now gonna have a Butterfree, and the green slot's gonna be reopened. And we'll have, a uh, now a permanent hold on the one of the purple slots, or two. I can only catch one more po purple Pokemon. I have Ekans, and now I have Butterfree. But yeah, back down to... Yeah, now I got Confusion. This is the main reason I chose it over Ekans. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Got TM, 28 from the 
the Team Rocket Garden, put in the Team Case. I'm gonna get moving. Bye. I like how like they're so like kind of like, oh, you defeated me. I guess. Oh, all right, whatever. I don't have cut yet, so I can't actually use that. But yeah, I'll just fast forward run all the way back. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. So yeah, I feel like that's a nice little thing, that way if you were like, oh, maybe I should give him back, he's already solved that problem. But yeah, you can't go that way because the grass, but, you know, Route 9's over that way. But yeah, you're going to want to go down this way, that way you can get to the grass on Route 5. Bum, bum. Mankey. Meowth. Why'd I say Mankey? This is clearly yellow. Um, I don't know if it's really worth catching. I'd say no. It's just a normal type. The other Pokemon you can get here can escape. Oh, that's right, because you're really low level. Wow, why are you? I forgot you're in front. Seriously, you can get more than Mankey. I'm uh, Meowth here. I don't know why I'm only getting Meowth, though. There. It's Oddish. That's something I could've got. I believe you can get Nidoran here as well. Oh, whatever. This is the, um, Daycare Man, but they don't actually have breeding. Which is kind of weird. What route is this again? Route 5, okay. But yeah, they don't do breeding, which sucks. It still wasn't invented, but yeah. I'm on, I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty, though. Oh, wait there. The road's closed. Okay. Then I must go the underground path. Hi, do you have a Nidoran? Want to trade it for my Nidoran female? No. That's too bad. I... Th I, don't, I don't know. That actually wouldn't be a horrible idea. It's a Nidoran. A uh, trade for a trade. So if I already have, like, an extra purple... I, I actually know. I wouldn't be. Whatever. People often u lose things in the underground path. So yeah, that's saying that there's items here. Uh, none are here yet, but yeah, I think there might be invisible ones, but I'm not gonna go and look for them. Now we're on Route Six, which is different than the route up there. This is a classic route. I mean, this is a pretty good shiny hunting one. And let's go. But we got a position again. <laughs> Come on, I haven't got a new Pokemon in a really long time. There we go. We got Oddish. Finally, though. <laughs> so Oddish is going to be blue. It might, yes, have more green on it. But uh, when it evolves, it's going to be clear. It has more blue. So I just don't want to kill you. Okay. Oh. That's good, though. It's not super effective. I don't want to take the chance with the tackle. Um, ten Pokeballs. Yeah, we're fine. Bloom is a really good Pokemon to have in case something was to happen to, I think... I don't know. I think Gloom actually might be red, because I think the flower on its head is just so big that it's more than the base body. But I guess it wouldn't be a horrible option since it's grass-type. Um, I don't know what I would name Oddish, since I never really get one, or use one for that matter. So, I don't know. <sighs> I'm out of options of real names here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I got nothing else to name it. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of trainers on this route. This is a double battle, which is what I was looking forward to. Um... We can actually put our two frontrunners in the party here. He was there. Quit listening in on us. Oh, it's not a double battle. Okay. I thought it was. Okay, then I'll just... Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Waluigi's probably my most strongest one until I get to... Uh-oh! Okay, thank god I didn't actually use a thunder move on me. I was not paying attention. That would've been really bad. Well, I'll just put Waluigi back.
back for a little bit since it can lay low for a little while. I'm just trying to get a little bit of extra money since there's really not that many trainers for a little bit. Oh, I mean there are. I'm just trying to get more money for Pokeballs because there are some really good Pokemon that are coming up that I can get that I don't have yet, color-wise. Uh, that's fine. We're going back to town. We're going to the town anyway. Although, I'll put uh, Mach 2 and Chun-Li up. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just swap out. I should have. Alright, wow, back to back crits. Damn, get absolutely destroyed. Just want to make sure, because, yeah, nowhere near. So, there are three Pokemon I can catch now. So that's not bad. So that was like four total I could have caught this episode. I think Ashy Jude might be brown. I don't know. I don't know why I just keep doing that. <laughs> um, the urge to battle with someone, blah, blah, blah. For Seeker, thank you. Um, no. Alright, I thought someone in here gave me a different item, but yeah. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, would you like to fish? Yes. Grant, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. I got the old rod. Put the old rod and key items. Fishing is a way of life. It is the finest poetry from the seas to the rivers. I didn't get to read his entire message. But yeah, we're in Vermilion City. And we now have the fishing rod. Let me just... I don't remember what the register button is. I don't know what button. I think it might have been R or E. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be Magikarp. What? Wait, what What key was... Oh, it's W. As far as I can tell, there's only Magikarps available here. That's fine, because we can count this as a free space, I guess. But I don't know. But yeah, there's only Magikarps here, I believe, so when I get a different fishing rod, I will use it. Alright, now we got more money. I thought we got... Hmm, okay, whatever. I thought this is where you would be able to get... Great balls, but I was wrong. It's not here yet. Alright. So, let's go to Route 11. I can already have that. Ah, alright. Let's go. I don't really want to fight the trainers here. I think it's pretty self explanatory. They're not weak. This is more of supposed to something you're supposed to do after the gym, which you just saw. But yeah. I'm looking at something other than Mackens here. It's the other route that I'm really sorry about <laughs> the stream the screen spazzing. Drowsy might be good. Something good to get here. Spiro. Dang, I should have caught that spear earlier. And I should have caught this one. I don't know why I didn't. That's what I wanted. Whatever. Diglett's Cave. There's not too much up here, but you might get a wild guess of what you can find in this cave. I swear if it's a Zubat. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Diglett. Diglett is the first brown Pokemon that I would obtain. This is something I actually do want to catch because it's brown, and I don't have... Well, I, I guess technically I think Pidgey counts as brown, but Diglett's really good. So if something does happen to Pidgey, this would probably be my first choice backup for it. Seeing as it can get magnitude and whatnot. Diglett, yes. I don't know what to name it, actually. 
Alright, I think I have a good name for you. I'm gonna name you... Terra... Cot... Terracotta. Okay. I can spell. I think Terracotta's a good name. Not a very common name either. You also can get Doug Trion here. But, you know. It doesn't really make a difference. It's just like a matter of like a little bit of leveling up and whatnot. Well, isn't this a surprise? Diglett dug a long tunnel. It goes to Verdian City, they tell me. So yeah, if you wanted to go back to Verdian, now you can go. But it's not a real good purpose of doing that. Um, this is the fan club. <clears throat> I want to talk to this guy. I chair. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raised more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to a Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yes. Good. Then listen up. My favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Ah, yes. It's stunning. Kindly. Lovely. Hug it when sleeping, warm, and cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing. Oops. Look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want to give you this. I got and received the Vike Voucher from the chairman. We're gonna put the Bike Voucher in the key items. Take that Bike Voucher to the Bike Shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite... My favorite Fira will fly me anywhere. I need to go. So, I have no need for a bicycle. I hope... Aw... Uh, uh, Alright, whatever. I couldn't read that in the message. Whatever. But yeah, this isn't a very exciting episode, I know that. It's kind of like one of those more closer to filler. But yeah, that's why I was taking a little bit more of my time. That way it wouldn't be as boring to say. But yeah, you try to go up this way. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, the road's closed. Yep, same thing. Yep, let me just go all the way back up. Don't have cut yet, so I can't do much there, but I can go all the way here. And now, speed at the Quantum Realm. So instead of having to pay a million dollars, I can get the bike voucher. I'm gonna put the bicycle in the key items pocket. Thank you, come again, I think she said. But yeah, now I can go at the speed of Quantum. But yeah, you can't run or go on bicycles indoors, so that stinks. Bicycle isn't all that helpful here, as there aren't that many super long roads. And there's no, like, eggs. But, you know. I could, I don't want to show you the full speed yet. But yeah. With fast forwarding... Okay, I can't. That's it. That, remember that tunnel? That's how short it is now. Oh my god, I keep doing that. I hate how... I hate when stairs are like that. <laughs> but yeah, there's not too much more to do this episode. I know this one was really short. I already fought all the trainers here. But yeah. It's not a super exciting episode, I know. Like I said before, it's kind of filler. It's like a little bit of a break episode. I... Just didn't want to do too much. I want to level up Waluigi and I'll level up Monarch now off camera, so they'll be a little bit more caught up with the rest of the team. But yeah. Show off the team a little. Uh, not much has changed. So yeah. Actually, what's your ability? Compound eyes. Raises accuracy. That's cool. Actually, there might be one more item that I forgot about. Do you have a Spearow? When do you want to change it? My far fetched. Oh, now I really regret not getting Spearow. I completely forgot about it. Now that trade. Not that that Farfetch would be of any use to me. But yeah. <sighs> I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Sal Saffron in the north. I think that's so cool. Using it as like a carry carrier pigeon. There's this guy who's a little interesting. Vermilion City, the port of exquisite stuff. 
I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is stamping the land to lay the foundation. I believe in Let's Go, it's just a flower bed. So I guess that never ended up coming through fruition. But oh well. That's all we have for this episode. I know, and I said it again, that I it's a kind of a filler episode. I can't do too much. But yeah. The SS Anne is a famous luxury cruise ship. This is where we'll be going next time. Welcome to the SS Anne. And I think I said I'll be training off camera. I meant to say I'll be training in the next episode. Because there's a lot of trainers on the SS Anne. And it's a great way to get money and EXP if, you know, you need it. And I don't, like, need it desperately. But I want to be getting my Pokemon closer to the 24. So I definitely will be fighting in the SS Anne. So yeah, next episode, a lot of battles coming up. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Bye.